Good evening and thanks for joining us. One of Hawaii's most well-known and colorful politicians, longtime mayor Frank Fossey, has passed away. Friends say his willingness to take on powerful opponents, often with a media stunt or a costume, may have come from his humble upbringing in Depression-era Connecticut, the child of Sicilian immigrants. Fossey earned a college degree in history and served as a Marine officer in World War II before settling in Hawaii where he became wealthy in the post-war salvage market. He had 11 children from two marriages. The second marriage to Joyce Kono lasted 51 years, and she was by his side with some of his children as he died last night at their home. He was 89 years old. Friends say his first unsuccessful campaigns for mayor were a protest in dispute with the city. In 1958, he won his first elections, and it wasn't until 1968, after several more losses, that he was elected mayor of Honolulu. Fossey served 22 years as mayor while making four unsuccessful runs for governor, three against his biggest rival, George Arioshi. Well, over a span of more than two decades as the mayor of Honolulu, Frank Fossey left quite a legacy. Catherine Cruz joins us with more on the man known as Fearless Frank. Catherine? Well, Paula, he was called many things over the years, among them his honor, the silver fox, and the champion of the little guy. Countless projects that were seated during his many terms are now in full bloom. Mayor Frank Fossey's last public appearance in December, the silver anniversary of Honolulu City Lights. The tradition was started during Fossey's tenure and has touched so many lives over the years. Joe Magaldi, a loyal confidant who served under the mayor for 22 years, says Fossey's pride and joy was the handy van and the bus. He's so proud of that because he's saying the common person needs something to ride on. Today, Fossey was on bus riders' minds. Mary Tillisayan, a recent immigrant, marvels at the convenience of public transportation as she goes to and from work. What he did to start the bus system was really wonderful. Another rider who grew up hearing about Mayor Fossey's feats was saddened by today's news. I heard about the mayor, yeah, that's sad. He, he, uh, I was a school kid when he saved the bus. God bless Fearless Frank. And the legacy list goes on. It was during Fossey's tenure that the idea of a second city was born. And there was the city's garbage to energy H power plant. Satellite city halls, farmers markets, and community gardens were created to help make urban life just a little more pleasant. And those seeds are flourishing today. I'd like garden? to thank Mayor Fossey for starting, for helping to start these gardens. I think a lot of us really appreciate that. In 2006, Fossey's last public speech came in the dedication of the municipal building in his honor. Known as one who could never stick to a prepared speech, he ad libbed what could very well be etched into his tombstone, delivered, of course, in vintage Fossey style. Look, he served you. He served all of you well. He saved you money. And he did the job the way it should have been done. Now, Joe Magali told KITV Mayor Fossey's one regret is that an attempt to have rail built in 1992 failed. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.